so today I'll be showing you all of my gymnastics on my carpet. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start with the front row. The patio offers the same motion breezes for guests staying in the first floor master suite. Then I'm going to start with the back walk over here. some rare window treatments. Obviously, shut and figure out the foyer. Then I'm going to start with a cart will be claimed one of the hotels on the island after the hurricane. We bought all that they had and all of these openings were built. Then a split. Up at the cabana, guests can take a dip in the pool and soak up the breathtaking sight of St. Croix Bay North Shore. This is the absolute windy Then a hint. This is sugar milk, and so there's very few openings on this side. Few openings except for these. And so all, all the visual holes and part of any of that sugar milk would be. Just perfectly happy to be out here with his friends. Twilight's perfectly happy out here too, living the sweet life in an old sugar mill that's become our own Caribbean castle. Next, for one hand. Walk over. Glacial St. Pancras Station is one of London's most historic travel hubs. But when Peter Tompkins walks into the station, then, he's not catching a train home. I don't really know what this one is. Oh, then a scorpion. Uh, what was the middle of the Grand Hotel? And this is a great big one from over the clock, which is a landmark for London to see when we sign on the railway station. Oh, <laughs> 